right, everybody. Finally, we're ready to hit the road. On the road again. So it's Labor Day, about 12.30. Done my inspection. You know, I got this new steel trailer I showed you on the last video. Trucks, got the truck out of the shop a couple of days ago. Got a new uh, short block engine installed. Finally hitting the road again after being off for a month. I've almost forgotten how to drive. So hopefully everything will go well. I sure hope to get some significant time without any major repairs at this point. So we're heading to, first of all, I'm at the Oakley North Little Rock Yard. Just heading out, done my inspection. Got my stuff loaded into the truck. And we're uh, deadheading to Oklahoma City. Don't even have the order yet. Dispatcher's supposed to send, send it to me in the morning. But he told me I'm picking up in Oklahoma City. They open at 7 a.m. Standard Iron and Metal, I think it's called. I believe I've picked up there once before. Getting a load going to Houston. Been a few months since I've been to Houston, so it should be nice and hot down there. My truck truck temperature gauge says it's 101 right now, so it's hot enough already. So yeah, feels weird. Been a while since I've been in the truck. Kinda anxious to get going again. But you know, it's it's been good. Had a nice break. That's the, I was telling somebody the other day, that's, that's the longest break from work I've had my entire life. Since I was a youngster, <laughs> I think the longest break from work I'd ever had was two weeks. I've got a vehicle coming down here. So yeah, you know, I took advantage of the time. I mean, I wish the truck truck had gotten repaired quicker. But, you know, it worked out pretty good. I got a lot of things done around the house. I got two root canals done that I had planned further out on the calendar. But since I was off, the endodontist uh, got me worked in. I had one root canal done on a Monday, and then I had the second one done the following Monday. Still got to go back in about five or six weeks and get it finished up, get a crown put on a tooth and all that. But you know, I got the majority of the work done, which is good because you know I would have had to take it off at least two half days to get that done. When I have a doctor appointment or dentist appointment, something like that, I like to schedule it on. You know, first thing on a Monday morning. That way I can just come home for the weekend and then go to the appointment first thing Monday, knock it out and still hit the road, you know, probably Monday morning. That's just how I like to do it. And like I mentioned on the last video, I was able to get my, uh, my hazardous material endorsement renewed along with my CDL which expired in October so I was able to get all that done went to the lake for a couple of long weekend trips with some of the family 
our daughter came down from Oregon for a week to visit, so I was able to spend some time with her, get her from the airport to the airport. One of my sons had a procedure at the hospital. I was able to take him and pick him up. You know, stuff I wouldn't have been able to do normally. Our upstairs air conditioning system had gone out for about a week. I was able to be there when the AC people came and did their work. You know, stuff that my wife would have had to take off work to do. So, you know, wasn't a total loss. Got a ring doorbell installed on the front door. Well, it's not really a doorbell, it's just a camera. A lot of little things, so. But I'm glad to be back in the truck. Let's just hope, knock on wood, we don't have any big issues for a while. Had a lot of comments from you guys. I appreciate it. Welcoming me back to the road. Missing video material, etc. So we're just working our way down through part of North Little Rock here. This road kind of runs parallel to the Arkansas River. We're only a couple of blocks off the river here. Then we're going to hit I-30 right up here and head west on I-40 towards Oklahoma. In fact, I had another, another Oakley driver message me last night that he too was uh, heading to Oklahoma City for tomorrow from Jackson, Tennessee. And I talked to a nice couple from California yesterday, or maybe two days ago, that uh, interested in uh, joining Oakley, looking to buy their own truck and all. They're in California now, but looking to relocate to the Dallas area here in a few months. You know, taking a look at Oakley. So, uh, real nice couple. I was able to talk to them. Hope things work out forwarded their info to uh, one of the recruiters so they can start a conversation. All right, you see the see the sign there straight ahead to Interstate 30, take a lift. They got a lot of road construction for the past year and a half or more up here in the downtown Little Rock area where I-30 cuts through, crosses the Arkansas River. You never know, you know, it's always changing, so you have to be careful going through there. They may have changed up the road pattern. And I want to mention, too, I got another, another fella from Texas, Jeff. I forget the name of the town Jeff's in. I think it's near Dallas, though. I'm sorry if that's incorrect, Jeff, but... He's uh, gotten, you know, he's been talking to the Oakley recruiters and he's, he's gotten approved to, uh, to sign on. I don't know, uh, I got to call him this coming week and get more information. He reached out to me one day uh, a week or two ago after I had, it was one of the days where I had had the uh, a root canal. So I didn't, I didn't call him back. Uh, but I'm going to call him this week and we'll get a little more information about his timeline for getting started. And I think he may already have a truck. I'm not real sure about that. Well, I know he's an experienced driver. He's been doing, he's got a lot of experience. I think maybe he was doing some, maybe some farm driving or something more local ready to get back out on the road so uh, but anyway I'll touch base with him in a few days and uh, we'll get some more information on Jeff all right we're hopping on I-30 and then right up the road here we're gonna head west on I-40 heading toward Oklahoma okay guys well it's Monday late afternoon early evening I'm in Oklahoma City at the Love about 15 miles from my customer in the morning where I'm picking up a load but a couple of things 
I pulled in here, I was gonna get some fuel and my EFS fuel purchase card has been deactivated. So I'm gonna have to wait, I guess, till the fleet manager gets in in the morning to have that reactivated. I guess uh, once they knew I was gonna be off the road getting that engine repair done, they deactivated my fuel card and forgot to reactivate it. Glad I had enough fuel to get this far. And I noticed I got a tire that was kind of soft. So uh, I pulled in here. They weren't busy. They got right on it, but I've got a trailer tire that had a nail in it. Let's see if I can show it to you. They've already got the tire off. But uh, yeah, I noticed when I was doing my inspection earlier today when I, when I stopped on the way here, and that tire right there felt just a little soft, you know, wasn't flat, just just a little soft. So I pulled in here and uh, yeah, they found a nail. That's the thing about using these uh, steel trailers. I'm gonna be going into uh, scrap yards pretty much. And uh, so it's kind of goes with the job, flat tires. So, there's nobody in the Oakley office today, of course. It's Monday, holiday, Labor Day, 6.30 p.m. or whatever it is. So I can't bill it. You know, Oakley will pay for tire repairs on the trailers, but there's nobody for me to contact to authorize this work. So I'm gonna pay for it and then get reimbursed on my payroll. They said it cost about 50 bucks. They're gonna be able to plug it. Luckily, we won't have to get another tire. At least they thought when they first looked at it, it's pluggable. So uh, that's what's going on. But on a good note, the truck is running good. Um, ran great, new engines running fantastic. Nice and smooth, so at least that part's good. All right, more tomorrow. Okay guys, it's Tuesday morning. We're here in Oklahoma City at Standard, Standard Iron and Metal. I was just talking to the gentleman over here that's kind of the supervisor and he was saying this place has been here for 80 years. But I'm getting a load of uh, scrap stainless steel. I'll try to show you some. He's already put one dump in there at the at this time and here he comes with another one you see they got a line of trucks waiting to get out they're topping off that truck on the scale right there with some shred i think the first and only other time i picked up here i got a load of shred and i loaded in the back of the property but right now i'm kind of in the front they just had me come off the scale and then i had to kind of back into there and then back into here, but there's what I'm getting, just some, he called them bales. I don't know what they are. Got kind of a front end loader grabber on this uh, loader. So this is my first load with the big steel trailer. It's going to Houston, Texas. Probably get it delivered in the morning. So that's what we're doing here in Oklahoma City. All right, people. Just giving you a look at Dallas. There goes a daredevil on the motorcycle. You'll probably have a short life. Anyway, I picked up this load this morning in Oklahoma City, and I'm telling you, it was a nasty load. I got two different types of products. You know, at first they started loading in some just assorted metal, kind of loose metal, and then they had me go up to the scale which was very problematic because the problem with that place today, you know, the day after Labor Day, 
is that they are they were closed on Saturday they're normally open and Monday Labor Day of course so there was two days they were closed so they were extra busy today there was lots of people bringing in like scrap guttering material a lot of that and the place was just clogged up with traffic so anyway let me change lanes here um you know i got there a little before seven because the dispatcher had told me they they started seven but really they didn't open till eight and then I left there about 11. Oh, I still need to switch lanes here. But yeah, it was. And then once I got loaded and scaled out, I had to climb up on in the trailer and uh, get my bows put back in. One of my bows was lost. I couldn't find it. It must have gotten knocked off during loading. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. And the second part of the load that they, they, they put on there was what they call bail. it was bulky you know it was a bulky product and some of it was sticking up above the bows you know I had to wrestle them around and try to get them down below the bows and it was not easy not easy at all in fact I fully expect Fully expect to have a rip, a rip or two in the top. So this load goes to Houston. I'll get it there in the morning. a good look at some of Dallas there's been plenty of traffic but it hasn't been horrible just yet but it's uh, 10 after 3 in the afternoon so it's it's uh, about time for it to get nasty Anyway, more on down the road. All right, everybody. Hey, we're on 45 South, south of Dallas. And I just turned the camera on here to see what's going on here. We got a little accident of some sort. This is just rubberneckers on this side. We got a couple of vehicles over here in the median. We got a vehicle off to the right.
There you go. Okay, guys, so here we are Wednesday morning. It's about 9.30, 9.15. So I've got this load of scrap metal I picked up in stainless steel, actually. Picked up in Oklahoma City. And there was some mix up on the work order. The work order was wrong. The first place I went to, about 20 miles from here, um, checked in, weighed in. Turns out it was it was not the right place. So I had to call a dispatcher. He got with uh, whoever booked the load and confirmed that it was supposed to go to this place. Not the place I was at. The place I'm at now is called Chronomet. And at least it's paved, not a big uh, mud hole. But I'm here waiting. I've already got my tarp rolled off. And another truck just dumped over there. And they told me to wait till they clean it out a little bit. And then I'll be backing into that spot and dumping. So I'm just waiting at the moment. So, uh, like I said, I've got the tarp rolled off. Now, the bad thing about this load and this trailer is, you know, it's got this door here. But there's product pushed up against the door so that I can't open that and go in that way. So the only way to get up here is you got to step on the tire and climb up this ladder. I had to do that several times the other day getting this load because I had product sitting up too high. In fact, I'm quite sure I probably have a rip in my tarp. I'll have to fix that later. Um, give you a look around. And I had to put the bows back in. I lost one bow, or it's in the load somewhere, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be damaged, but I'm going to look for it. So I'm going to climb up here and try to give you a look at the load so you can see what I'm hauling. All right, so I'm up on the ladder here. Let me give you a shot of the load. And it's, it's got two different products in here. I don't know how you tell the difference, but you can see a lot of it's this bale these bales of stainless steel but up towards the front and underneath there's some more uh loose stuff that looks more like a wire but that's what we got just giving you a look all right more later <laughs> 